All right, everybody, welcome back to day two. I am so excited that you're here. I'm excited to jump in. And in fact, the first thing I want you to do is make sure that you've downloaded the music that I sent to you. So you should have a link that you can download. I'm going to open this up here on my computer. This is two files that are located here in a zip file called the DJ Coach demo files. And it looks like that. Double click on it. It's going to extract them. And here are the two files. Now. Before I drag this into Juiced, um, I want to organize this a little bit more. So let's go ahead and just create a folder on my desktop. And I'm just going to call this DJ Music. Okay, And um, let's go ahead and put those songs into that folder. Um, and this is a good thing just to be able to start to separate some of the music that you would DJ with as opposed to some of the MP3s that are maybe already on your computer. Um, organization is super important as a DJ. And as you can imagine, as you start to collect more and more files, if you don't have a system, it can get really out of control. And it'll make it really hard to figure out where your files are and things will come up missing. It'll be a whole thing. So um, I've gone ahead and put those uh, two songs in there. Let's go ahead and open up Juice. Now, what I could do is, if I go to Finder, and actually let me zoom in a little bit so you can see, if I go to Finder and I go to my desktop, there's my DJ Music folder, here's my two songs, and I'm going to bring these in and analyze them. So let's go ahead and analyze, and I'm just gonna click down to where BPM is and then hit Analyze. And let's see here. So great, now what it's done is it's, I have my BPM and it's assigned a key and both these songs happen to be within the same key and are pretty close BPM wise, right? So if you remember from our day one lessons, BPM stands for beats per minute um, and that is beats are head nods. So how many head nods are in a minute if I were to be listening to this song, right? So it's 103 and 104 and what I told you last time is the range that I would like for you to have is kind of a rule of thumb, plus or minus four. So if, let's say, let's take this 103, for example, that means 107 to 99, which clearly Stranger fits within that. So these songs have the potential to sound good together, to be mixed together, and uh, we're gonna jump in and try this in just a moment. But before we do, um, I just also wanna show you something real quick here, which is, um, I can take these songs now, and if I want to find them, I just go to my song library, all songs, and there they are. They're here. Now, I can also put them in a separate playlist. So if I go to playlists and I hit this little plus sign, this little plus sign right here, add playlist, and let's just call this uh, demo playlist. Okay. And let's zoom back out. There's my demo playlist, and I can now take songs, uh, where are my songs here, and I can right click on that, add to my demo playlist, or since it was the last one, I can do that as well. And now, when I go to playlists, and go to my demo playlist, both those songs are there. Great, so now remember we can load these onto the deck, or I can also use the shortcut shift right to load it there so shift right or shift left and now we are all set before we mix them though i'm going to show you how to break the songs down into its pieces to figure out what parts we're going to use to be able to mix them together <laughs> 